What's up my peeps? So today I'm gonna be going to Medford, Long Island with this guy. Remember him? Yeah, we are, uh, had my birthday party in March, I believe. That's right. Why are we going to Long Island? Well, we're gonna meet the legend himself, uh, Hall of Famer, Kevin Nash, AKA Diesel, AKA Big Sexy. Yeah, and where's your NWO shirt? Uh, I could not <laughs> wear my NWO shirt because it was from high school and it's actually a large and I think I've grown a little bit since high school, so ain't happening. Oh man, that's too bad because I'm wearing mine, wearing the red one. He was supposed to wear the white one, but let's see. I mean, I, I think you're just going to have to suck it up and hold your stomach while we're taking a picture, right? I guess that's what's going to happen. Let's see that OG shirt you got there. Yeah, so this is the NWO from high school shirt, but uh, this is actually the... NWO shirt when they uh, hit WWF at the time and you could tell because look you have the, the WWF.com logo on the back which you don't see that anymore because now it's not even WWF I think you should uh, frame this get a new one yes and just frame this one so yeah. that, that's retro yeah because it's not totally faded yet but I think it's still pretty good we're here now in Long Island we're, we're gonna get lunch yeah and let's see what we're gonna eat Yeah, but we're gonna be talking to Kevin Nash. Uh, it doesn't matter. I guess a Sicilian and uh, sausage stromboli. And I ordered Jamaican beef patty and a pepperoni pizza. Good thing you didn't get the garlic. Yes, because it, you, you brought up that we're gonna see Kevin Nash face to face, so maybe he wouldn't like to have garlic breath. Yeah, but then again, this is garlic right here. So don't put this one. Alright. <laughs> Cute. All right, we finished eating lunch, so we have an hour to kill and we're gonna head to Target because this guy has to pee. Yeah, I mean, we could get hand jobs over there for $30, no, $40, but it's too hot for that right now, so probably just head to Target. Maybe we'll get one afterwards. Yeah, maybe. After the yeah. Okay, so we have time to check out some of these toys. Where is he? Oh, here's the wrestling section. Oh yeah. Don't you feel is. don't you feel like you're in high school again? Oh we got Eddie Guerrero. John Cena. Oh, that's your favorite Triple H. <laughs> yeah. That's your that's your wrestler right there. But you don't collect anymore, you don't have the I space. Know. I want DDP but that thing's hard to find. Josh, look at this. That's the Intercontinental Championship now. Maybe have um Kevin Ness to sign that. He was an intercontinental, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he wasn't like, I don't like the new design for this. Oh, yeah, me neither. It makes it look like a tag team champ. And no black series. Yeah, this. Oh, wow. It's pretty much it. Well, this is so 80s right here. He Man? Yeah, even the figures. I don't follow that um, franchise. I don't know much about it. The, it it's. I didn't know until like last year that the toys came out before the actual cartoon. Really? Yeah. So they, they, made, they based the cartoon off the toys. <laughs> Ranger section. This is not Mighty Morphin. I don't collect anything that's not Mighty Morphin. Hey, let's check the, the Hot Wheels section. Uh, nope, I don't see it. I already got the Robert Pattinson Batmobile, so mm. I'm just checking. See, they don't have it. They don't have it here. Oh. Doesn't matter. I already have it. You know, I feel sometimes like people stock this. They'll they'll they always have first dibs, so they'll like be like, "Oh, I'm gonna put this aside for me." Yes, that's true. That's why I always check the back. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they got here. Oh, look at that! Oh, I don't collect that. Do they? Creep show. They have a lot of good stuff here today. Is that in mint condition? You should get that. No, nah, it's too much stuff. If you had the space, would you get it? Yeah, of course. But I always think about that. Like, I think you need to move to a bigger <laughs> place, and then have, you, yeah. You know, my, in my English teacher, he's a big like um, he's a big comic book DC Marvel. He bought a house, right? Uh -huh. And he, he specifically has a room just for like his collection. I do the same thing if I, I yeah. if I had the money, I do the same but exact thing. Now he's married, so I don't know. Like, I wonder if they're still. If he moved or like that's the kids. Are I would now. just have a house just for my collection, honestly. A room is not enough. You need a house. 
a house for my collection. Make sure that that place is insured too. Oh, definitely. Looks like they got nothing. Oh. I keep running into Beetlejuice. I already have this. Oh yeah, looks like they don't have the Eddie Brock black light. We got like, I think half an hour left and then we're gonna meet Big Sexy Kevin Ash. Now we're looking at the PS4 section. Everything's on sale, it's all 10 bucks. I've never seen a section just PS4 like this. It's nicely done. You're looking for a game in particular? Oh yeah, this Japanese game, but I don't think it'll be in this section. Oh, this is Xbox here too. So. You have to go to the Japanese section. $40? Yeah. No, I've seen... Oh, that's the part two. I'm gonna wait till that's like 20 bucks or 15. This is 15. Gotta wait till it's 15 bucks. So like... They have this game for the PS5, but it's pretty much just like a... Like a game they just copied over for PS5, so PS4 should be fine. I heard it's a good game though. It is. It is. So I would pay it on the PS4. So we're here, we're like 15 minutes early and we don't want to wait outside. There's already guys waiting outside the store. Yeah, pr they're probably like just really hardcore wrestling fans that are virgins and have nothing else to do. Exactly. <laughs> Unlike us, where well, we actually, you know, you already know. Yeah, I mean, I don't have nothing to do. I am a wrestling fan, but I'm not a virgin, so there's, you know, Same here. two out of three is not bad. Same here. And plus, you know, it's too hot outside. We got the AC here. We'll wait it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it 3.30 yet? 3.16. <laughs> 3 Isn't that Austin 3.16? Oh, yeah. Wow. Makes sense. Cool. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Austin 3.16. It's not even the wrestler we're supposed to meet, but it's still wrestling related. Definitely. Yeah. I can't believe he's out here at, in the middle of nowhere in Long Island. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I don't even know if I can park here. Not even, they don't even have sidewalks here. That's how you know it's suburbia. I hope I don't get a ticket here. I don't see a sign where it says you can't park here. Yeah. Right? It's like hiding behind this bush. This bush. Hey, did you know that um, my dad and your dad are hanging out? They went to get a goat in upstate. Oh, really? You didn't I know that? I thought they got the goat from Riverside Park when they did they did like a they did um, a releasing of all the goats in the park uh, two days ago so they, they could eat the weeds and all that stuff. And they're home already? Yeah, there's the there's the there's the murder weapon right there. There's the murder weapon right there. That's his dad. Yeah. So they're already home. They're well. I know they went this morning. And the bo so. the body's in that bag right there. Yeah, watch out for that guy. Mm -hmm. This, this looks like the security footage they have in around the city, right? You know, it's an Asian ma male, <laughs> white, blue, white and blue cap, white shirt. Be on the lookout. Be safe, my peeps. I still don't know what I'm gonna say to Kevin Nash. I'm still thinking. You know what to say to him already? Yeah, I want to say to him like, you know, I enjoyed you throughout my childhood, your wrestling career, and I've taken many power bombs. <laughs> and give him any power bombs because of you. And I'm gonna tell him, I might tell him that I learned how to do the power bomb because of you. I power bombed her and I got in trouble for it. And then everybody's gonna boo you, like, oh, you're hitting a girl, boo. I didn't even do it properly, too. <laughs> I didn't even do it properly. Wait, wait, she let you do it or she, you had to force her? No, she let me do it. She actually let me do it, but I, I know she didn't want to, but. And then your mom found like, out and dad? Yeah, no, I think it was just my mom and oh, she I got like, in trouble. I, I know she doesn't like that. I got in trouble. And I let, I was talking to Alexa yesterday and she's like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> what, what, did, what did your mom say? Like, like, don't do that ever again. Like, that's dangerous. Or... Something like that. I don't remember. It's a long time ago. Hmm. I remember I power bombed you, but then you farted in my face. Yeah, he power bombed me well, at his dad's house and I farted. Um, Right when I was on his face. Yeah, like when I had you on top and yeah. you fart. So then I, I, I really like nailed you down. Like, bam. Good timing too. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't get hurt when he, you know. I know, I should have, not on the couch, I should have got right to the floor. No, you, <laughs> you know what? We're even because you put leaves in my mouth. So we're yeah. even. That's that. Yeah, he used to put leaves in my mouth and I didn't even know it until a few years ago. Yeah, I think you're, oh, what is it, like four months old? 
five months? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. I can't remember. I think four months old because you weren't even. I don't think you were able to walk yet. Uh, okay. It's three thirty-three. We're leaving in two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Hey, that's the theme song of uh, Scott Steiner. Mm -hmm. Big Papa Pump. And then I can picture with the what is that thing? The chains yeah. or something? That was a weird outfit. Man. It was weird. I thought there was like it was a, a siren that we're gonna get like there's a bomb threat or something happening. You thought it was a bomb threat? Yeah. Whoa. Or like a tornado warning or something. I still gotta wait in the heat. <laughs> I thought we were gonna. No, it's unavoidable. Selfie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be this. Yeah, that's a lot. That looks good. Got a good shine. Well, I'm supposed to go like that too. Oh, I, I just see them do that yeah. a lot. Okay, we gotta do it again. <laughs> okay. Supposed to stay with doing like a dish and all. Wait, he's not wearing NWO. Yeah, he's not wearing NWO. But he's not wearing NWO. I've got more, but I'm not paying him too much. This is the line. That was also a nice one. Just like, hey, or, just the waiting. I'm sleepy already. It's not sleepy, just more like it's hot. But actually, it's getting better now. It's not too bad. I just hope it doesn't rain while we're out here waiting. I don't think so. I think we're gonna make it. Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited. I, you know what? It's gonna be like if he's standing, and I'm like, it's gonna be like even more real because I, I'm how tall he is. Yeah. I'm not gonna hug. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get him to sign this. I gotta open it from the case. Thanks, guys. Oh, he's struggling. He's nervous. <laughs> Don't make me drop it. Don't make me drop it. Oh, drop it. it doesn't come off. I'm afraid it's gonna rip because you're, you're making me more nervous. Don't force me. Or be gentle. Well, at home this was easy. Now it's a lot more pressure. Okay, got it. You make me nervous sometimes. It looks nervous right now. Concentrating on the <laughs> No, no. Not that one. I'm just thinking about like how I'm gonna get the rest of the two. So. Uh, actual hair one. You want to hold them up too? The original style is from where I wear it, but this guy This is from high school, so they ain't gonna fit This is the O2 version. Yeah, yeah. This is the original. The original didn't have this. Mm -hmm. Put that oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, you ever notice that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one might scratch that one. Oh, of course. I've taken any power bounds from my friends, thankfully not from you. I'll probably take better care of you. Let's see if I can find a picture of the original. So we're going to have to go inside. So that's, this is a doll. But this is us and NWO shirts. If you go inside, you can, you, can't, you can see how there's, you'd be able to see the R there. There's, there's not, there was, and, and every one of them was printed crooked. On the envelopes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were just, so they were such a bootleg company. They never, they never had any, they had never had any, any desire or, or, or anybody bought, that bought merch. So they, they didn't know how to produce merch. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm gonna see all the eight. Looks like one of those freak setups right there. Yeah, he's uh, my cousin here's a blogger. Ah, yeah, he got that thing in the bed. I know what's going on. <laughs> on some, ta on some table. I just want to ask. Um, what was your favorite uh, time in the Maria, are you going to come out? Every two weeks. Um, Every two weeks? Yeah, we got paid. Let's take 
Thanks, man. Nice yeah. Did you catch that on, uh, on the podcast? Or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to watch that. Thanks for reminding me. Thank you. Thank you. It is a good mood. Kevin Nash is a cool guy, and I, he was look, uh, he was saying me, telling me that there's a difference between the, the logo here because this is the O2 version. Yeah. So he was going through his phone because he wanted to show me a picture of the lo- of the original logo. Yeah. And then when he's going through his albums, I think there's a picture of him. I'm assuming that's his legs where he's sitting down because I think he wanted. I, I forgot. I don't know who he was showing it to, but he had a picture of his his thighs. Just his thighs. Just his thighs. I, and I was like, oh, that's why I, I, I looked away because I didn't want him to like see that I saw that I saw that picture. So I was like, okay. But he's a cool guy. Like, uh, yeah. Totally recommend you guys meeting him if you're a wrestling fan, especially from the 90s or NWO era. Good guy. Yeah, I was going to say something about Rey Mysterio, but I'm like, ah. So I just, I went with my um, original, my second question. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I knew that when he said that, I was like, yeah, he's just there for the paycheck. Yeah, and this is it. Sign this big sexy Kevin Nash. Did you shake his hand? No, no. I didn't shake his hand because I'm like, oh, maybe the COVID. Yeah, no, well, he had the bottle there just in case, but uh, nah. I didn't know if I was supposed to, but I'm like, ah, I think I won't. No, he's a, he's a, he seemed like a chill guy, so I don't want to yeah. piss him off. Yeah. I wish he was The Rock, though. I wish he was The Rock. Oh my god. I, you know, I wish because back the in The Rock, I'm going to shake his hand, I'm going to hug him. I wish back in the 90s we had more inter, uh, more knowledge about these kind of fan signings. Yeah. Because that would be the time to see The Rock, right? Yeah. Now it's like damn near impossible. I don't think he even does like appearances like this. He's too rich. He doesn't have to do that. I think if it, if ever we were to see The Rock, it would be like one of those completely random times where we just we happen to run into him. It has to be like that. Mm-hmm. How, how would do that? Mm-hmm. Like uh, remember, like I'm sure you follow his Instagram. Like he would be driving, <laughs> and then like people would like come out of their cars, and then they would like come. Oh right, and he goes. Oh, he goes. All right, nice to meet you. And he's like, Oh, the tra- it's, it's green. I gotta go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. I saw that. Yeah. But he's typically a nice guy. He just said that, what is it, don't bother him when, when he's eating, eating dinner. Or if he's working yeah. out. Yeah, which is, that's a decent thing to do. Well, when he works out, he has his own private gym, so I don't think anyone would bother I, him. I think when he's on like location somewhere, probably. Oh, yeah. I, when I guess he, so, like filming. Yeah, pre-COVID, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we just came from Chase. <laughs> that's where we saw Kevin Dash. Yeah, and the car is still there. They didn't tow it. Nice. Damn, he, he knew this right away. This is the O2 version. So that's fake, is he saying? Or No, he's just saying that he's saying that he likes the way that WWE does their stuff because really? it's like done nicely. He, he, he criticized WCW where their lettering was kind of off and he's like, you, you know, it's, it's like, that's why he's like, they didn't care about their shit. Yeah, I was a little nervous to ask him. That's why I was a little hesitant to ask first. I was actually formulating my question in my mm. head. And then I actually, I was laughing. I was laughing about uh, him, like commenting about your setup, because I, I feel like he thought that you know you like to record porno, pornos or something like that. That's why he was just like, oh, I know what that setup is for. Yeah, I get him. Like an amateur porn, yeah. right? Amateur porn. We just got back from 7-Eleven and we got Dunkaroos. This. I can't believe they have the chocolate one. I only see the vanilla one. Yeah, although I remember growing up with the uh, the cookies shaped as kangaroos, so yeah. maybe. The reason why they're doing cookies now is because you know they want to avoid any controversy, whether um, the kangaroo is male or female. So this is uh, <laughs> that's one of his that's one of his wild theories. He always says something. No, it's true. Like if if you just have a cookie with a D, then you know it's a non-binary cookie, and you, nobody can complain about it. And but ironically, it's the D that you're putting in your mouth. What do you think about that? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna have the D in have the D in my mouth as well. Then. Where's yours? Oh, it's right here. He has his own D. Yes, because I don't like to share D's. Me neither. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try it now. Yeah, the the D with a little chocolate in there. Looks like a little shit. Tastes like '90s. Yeah, but pretty much like yeah, Betty Crocker frosting. You just like it. The only difference is that. It's not the shape of a kangaroo. Yeah, which is disappointing. You know, that's how it is in society today. Everything's disappointing, you know? Especially nowadays. Yeah. I know. I, ben- I blame uh, Gen Z. Yeah, it's all their fault. But it's pretty good, though. Although, like, as an adult, um, this is not very filling. This is so small. <laughs> so, but it's all right. If I, I'll just... 
imagine myself as um, 13 again, or was it 14, uh, 12, being in junior high eating this, so it's fine. We were on our way home, and then we noticed that there was Amityville. We were just nearby, so we're gonna check out the house. You could talk, by the way. <laughs> huh? Yeah, sure. We're approaching Gray Street. I don't know. <laughs> and it's I think Gray Street is a CT. <laughs> Oh. oh, we're almost there. 0 0.1 mile. It's already in the left side, right? I believe so. How do you feel? Maybe some cars are doing the same thing. Some people are passing by. Let me know if you see it. It looks... It's supposed to be different. I think... Is it oh, 108? The movie? Somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, it's supposed to be 108. 106. Is so, it this one right here? Yeah, this is it. I think 108. You have reached your destination. Which one, like the one here with the fence, maybe? The houses are so nice here. Oh shoot! Did I close this? <laughs> oh man, you're showing my face. So the safety, making sure. No standing in time. I think they know, like. People come here a lot, so. Private property, look, 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 it says, can I get down camera? Private property. Wait, did I get him? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think this is it, that's, that's the house. This is it? Yeah. Wow. What do you think? Looks like a normal freaking house. I, I think that's the one. Let me see. You think so? I hope so. Otherwise, it's like we're checking out like a random house that we think it's from the movie and it's not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, it is. That's actually it? Yeah, from the picture. No stopping or standing, too. Look at that. The sign says no stopping or standing. Yeah, look. That's it. Can't get it to focus. Focus. Okay, hold it right there. Yep, that, that's definitely it. What do you think? What what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I think I would not want to spend a night in there, but yeah, that's... <laughs> I think some weird shit happened in there and that's not worth staying in there. Or even buying. Somebody bought this house off Zillow, so... I think it's, um, it's a horror fan, probably. Yeah. I, I bet you it's someone who just bought it just for the hell of it and they're not even living in it. Maybe they just bought it as if it's like a collection or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm out of the car. I can't stay here too long because there's no standing here. That's the house. That's the real house. I don't know if I'm allowed to film. But... Alright, I think that's good enough. Back in the car. All right, so we just got home, and this is our dinner. What do you have there? Kung Pao chicken. So if you're allergic to peanuts, too bad for you. Well, that sucks. And I got here is a pork fried rice. If you enjoyed this dope ass video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, cause I deliver dope content videos like this one, and you definitely don't want to miss it. All right, my peeps. So we're gonna enjoy a delicious Chinese meal. And you have anything else to say? Yes, so the Dalt Treehouse is currently on summer vacation. You could catch my co-host traveling around the world while I'm stuck at home working from home. But you could catch all the previous invoices on all the major podcast platforms and we'll be back in September. Nice. So stay safe, my peeps. Until then, Marquitos. He's out. <laughs>